you can use the General Report Writer to create a variety of reports, from simple lists to complex reports, such as invoices, business graphs, or XML documents, any report needed by a business. A Genero application extracts the data for these reports from a database. You design the layout in the Genero Report Designer, and you can preview the report in the Genero Report Viewer. Genero Report Writer separates the data gathering for a report from the report design. You write a Genero program to retrieve the data from a data source, a relational database, a data file, an XML file, or a web service. The Genero application streams the data in XML format from the data source to the Genero report engine, one record at a time. You use the Genero report designer to create a report design document to define the layout of the report. The Genero report engine formats the streaming data according to the report design to create the report pages. You can use the General Report Viewer to display the report pages, send them to a printer, save the report as a PDF file or an image, or use one of the other possible output options. Data for the reports comes from a Genero program. The Genero Report Writer provides a wizard to assist in creating this application. Select File, New. Click Reports. Select Report from Database and click OK. A new query wizard opens. Select the table or tables. Define how the tables are related Define the columns to be sent to the report engine and specify the sort columns to define how the data is grouped and ultimately how to divide the report into its various groups or sections. Select Finish and the wizard creates the SQL statements and report blocks for the report application. The Genero application streams the data in XML format to the Genero report engine. The Genero report design document provides the information on how to format the data for display. To create a report design document, select File New. Select Reports. Selecting Empty Report provides just that, an empty report. The List Report option uses a template to open a report design, providing the basic structure of a standard list report. The report design uses containers to organize the layout of the report objects. The List Report template starts with horizontal box containers for the report header, the column headers, and the data rows. You can add additional containers to the report design from the toolbox. Other report objects are added within the containers, word boxes, decimal format boxes, image boxes, page numbers, charts, barcodes, the elements that display the data in the report. The type of data coming into the report is important to the report designer. The report application, the BDL application, can generate a schema file at compilation. The report design's data view uses the schema file to display how the data is organized or grouped, 
and the data objects available to the report. Each data object corresponds to a database column or report variable from the reporting application. Add data objects from the data view and place them within the layout containers to create a report with meaningful data. A list report typically includes column headers followed by rows of data. Select an icon on the data view to specify whether you're adding the value of a data object or the data object label, the fields label or table column. One method for adding a data object value is to select the container and double click the data object. Another method is to hold down the control key and drag the data object onto the graphical report design. The preferred method will depend on the type of report and complexity of the report layout. Based on the data type, the appropriate type of drawable, a word box or a decimal format box, for example, automatically encloses each data object. Use the same methods to add the column titles to the container provided for the table header. Select the table header container Click the Table Column Title Object icon and place a column title for each of the columns in the report. The Report Structure panel displays a tree of the objects in the report design, the containers and the data objects. At the top is the page header, which will print at the top of each report page. The Report Structure also shows report triggers, shown as red dots, that trigger the printing of specific containers or details when the value of a data item changes. These triggers allow for the inclusion of page breaks or the printing of subtotals when data switches to a new store or a new order. The final trigger, the On Every Row trigger, will print its child objects once for every record passed to the report. Part of the report design is organizing the report containers and data objects with the report triggers. You can add text and images to the report. From the template, a word box displays the report title. Change the title by changing the text property in the Properties panel. For every object, the Properties panel lists all the object's properties, which can be changed as needed. The Genero Report Writer provides a variety of output options, SVG format for the Genero Report Viewer, PDF, an image file, direct to the printer, to an Excel spreadsheet, to an XML file, to an HTML file, and more. While the output can be specified in the Report Design document by selecting File, Report Properties, output configuration, it's more common to specify the output in the reporting application. Report designs are saved as files with a 4RP extension. Call the report design by name in the report application. When the report application executes, it sends the data to the report engine, which uses the report design document to format the report displayed in the report viewer. This has been
been a quick look at the Genero Report Writer. There are a variety of sample reports installed with Genero Report Writer, and additional training videos provide a more detailed look at creating a rich variety of reports.